hit with 2.3 trillion When does a citizen become a civilian? When did the heroes morph into the villains? How can two planes powderize three buildings? These are questions that could get you murk Politically, socially, physically put into the dirt Many swear that there's some kind of conflict of interest within The conflict depends upon what you're interested in You can chant 9-11 was an inside job All day until you say the Mossad And pay closer attention to Flight 175 And the odd cylindrical pod beneath the fuselage Then it's 2 plus 2 level addition After you factor in the flight termination systems And flashbacks of the cash that good rabbi stole September 10th style, right down the rabbit hole What can I get with 2 plus 3 trillion? You can get unlimited corporate news What, 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 what can I get with 2 plus 3 trillion? You can have any mercenaries you choose What, 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 what can I get with 2 plus 3 trillion? You can steal a couple million souls What, 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 what can I get with 2 plus 3 trillion? You can get everything under control The missile they hit the Pentagon It was not an act of randomness It murdered accountants, bookkeepers, and budget analysts That side of the building was retrofitted prior to this To withstand bomb blast and nickname the catcher's myth If that don't give you some kind of clue why they blew the mortar You should probably take some medication for your new disorder If buildings are burning, don't ever trust a news reporter With 267 stories of gruesome slaughter Don't ever mention Dove's Akeem and Trillion stolen Much less missile equipped Boeing's even remote controlling With System Planning Corporation International The folks to see if you got some buildings you'd like to crash into But that's impossible without the proper capital That's why I'm asking you what you would do with unimaginable wealth So much money you can't delve in it Enough to buy five Five presidents and twelve senates. What can I get with two point three trillion? You can get unlimited corporate news. What, 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 what can I get with two point three trillion? You can have any mercenaries you choose. What, 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 what can I get with two point three trillion? You can steal a couple million souls. What, 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 what can I get with two point three trillion? You can get everything I'm doing. John Miller, who've been all over the story of the investigation and how it's proceeding on all the different fronts and ran through it for you a moment ago, pointed to the fact that so much of it is centered on the state of Florida, that there were terrorists in this country for more than a year getting pilot training, and two of the suspects that had been identified by federal authorities were trained at a Huffman flying school, which is in Venice, Florida. Antonio Mora has gone down there this morning and has one of the directors of that school with him. Antonio? Charlie, that is where I am here in Venice, Florida, and I am joined by Rudy Deckers, who is the owner and the chief executive officer of Huffman Aviation. And you had described them as strange birds. Was yeah. there anything suspicious about them? Well, no, the only thing is that these people from these countries, like the Middle East, are always a little bit different. Um, we leave them alone. They come here to train. We do more of these people from the Middle East. Uh, they were not socializing with anybody of us. Have you ever had any other student, students that stood out from the Middle East in particular? Well, as I said before, they're, they're strange birds to us anyway. From, they have a different belief, a different behavior. Uh, we have more students from the Middle East, and we always are by themselves. But you, you have hundreds of students here every year, not that many from the Middle East? No, a couple of them every two, three months. And the training you give them is on single-engine, simple planes? Oh, very simple planes. Uh, planes like you can see behind us, uh, single-engine, light multi-engine planes, nothing to be capable of to fly a jet. Now, this is the kind of plane that you fly. Could, do you think you're capable? You've got many, many years of experience. Would you be capable of moving a, a 757? Or a I, I fly occasionally in the back seat, I mean in the back in these airlines, and I think by myself, oh, I wish I could fly for a minute this, but there's no way. There's no way. The systems are different. It's hydraulic. Um, if you steer straight and you keep it at altitude, maybe you're able to, to do a little bit, but they had to descend, they had to change the speeds. There's no way, in my opinion. All right, Rudy. Rudy Deckers of Huffman Aviation, we thank you for uh, joining us this morning. I know you you're were welcome. shocked. This whole community is shocked, as is the rest of the country, but in particular here, to know that these uh, terrorists uh, lived in their midst. Charlie, Diane? But that's what we've got so far. Two to three people uh, in custody right now uh, found with a van filled with explosives. All right, well understood. Deborah, where are you tonight? And we're late tonight that two suspects are in FBI custody after a truckload of explosives was discovered around the George Washington Bridge. That bridge uh, links uh, New York to New Jersey over the Hudson River. 
Whether the discovery of those explosives has anything to do with other events of the day is unclear, but the FBI has two suspects in hand, said the truck uh, load of explosives, and enough explosives were in the truck to do great damage to the George Washington Bridge. But they arrested the two suspects and they're questioning them as we speak. And all of a sudden, down there, I see this van park, and I see three guys on top of the van, and I could see that they were like happy. You know, they 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 were they didn't look shocked to me. You know, they didn't look shocked. I thought it was very strange. We had received an all points bulletin, and uh, I just happened to see the van, and you know, hollered over to my lieutenant. You know, I think that could be the van. We checked it out, and it was. You know, we were all on edge, obviously, so I really wasn't looking to make friends with these people, and neither were the officers that I were with. Once we started talking to them, you know, they were pretty much like, hey, you know, we're, you know, we're not against you, we're with you. And at that point, we were taken for another round of questioning, this time related to our allegedly being members of Mossad. The fact of the matter is, we are coming from a country that experiences terror daily. Our purpose was to document the event. Our purpose was to document the event. I was watching the towers, and though I wasn't the closest, I saw them crumble to the earth like they were full of explosives. And they thought nobody noticed the news report that they did about the bombs planted on the George Washington Bridge. Four non-Arabs arrested during the emergency, and then it disappeared from the news permanently. They dubbed the tape of Osama, and they said it was proof. Jealous of our freedom, I can't believe you bought that excuse. Rocking a motherfucking flag don't make you a hero. We're the ground zero, the devil crept into heaven, God overslept on the 7th, the new world order was born on September 11th. Father forgive them for they don't know right from wrong, the truth is set you free written down in a song, and the song has the cause of death written in cold, the word of God brought to light that has saved your soul, save your soul motherfucker, save your soul. And just so conservatives don't take it to heart, I don't think Bush did it, cause he isn't that smart. It has been more than 16 years since a civilian working for the Navy was charged with passing secrets to Israel. Jonathan Pollard pled guilty to conspiracy to commit espionage and is serving a life sentence. At first, Israeli leaders claimed Pollard was part of a rogue operation, but later took responsibility for his work. Now Fox News has learned some U.S. investigators believe that there are Israelis again very much engaged in spying in and on the U.S., who may have known things they didn't tell us before September 11th. Fox News correspondent Carl Cameron has details in the first of a four-part series. Since September 11th, more than 60 Israelis have been arrested or detained, either under the new Patriot anti-terrorism law or for immigration violations. A handful of active Israeli military were among those detained, according to investigators, who say some of the detainees also failed polygraph questions when asked about alleged surveillance activities against and in the United States. There is no indication that the Israelis were involved in the 9-11 attacks, but investigators suspect that the Israelis may have gathered intelligence about the attacks in advance and not shared it. A highly placed investigator said there are, quote, tie-ins, but when asked for details, he flatly refused to describe them, saying, quote, evidence linking these Israelis to 911 is classified. I cannot tell you about evidence that has been gathered. It's classified information. Why do people from the truth movement keep getting called psychotic and all other names for what they believe? Well, that's because they don't have any evidence to try to disprove what we say. So rather than arguing the evidence with us, they have to attack the messenger. And then they say, huh, you're crazy. <laughs> you know, what kind of argument is that? Kevin Barrett, thank you for your time with us today. Thank you so much, Anastasia. Insulting my intelligence. Oh, how these people judge. We screwed in seven terrorism. Was now no thermite terrorism. We screwed in seven terrorism. Was now no thermite terrorism. And the Twin Towers fell a week. It was controlled demolition. There was no terrorism. It's not that. If you wish to bring anybody who's ever 
watched a building being demolished on purpose knows that if you're going to do this you have to get at the at the under infrastructure of a building and bring it down first let the technical truths emerge then if necessary cope with the inevitable conspiracy and other questions buildings tend to fall over they don't fall straight down through the path of greatest resistance buildings tend to fall over This is a controlled demolition. Typically, a tall building like this is demolished by placing thousands of cutter charges throughout the columns and beams, detonating them in a very precise order. This is a controlled demolition, synchronistically timed floor by floor, detonating them in a very precise order. This is a controlled demolition, synchronistically timed floor by floor. This is a controlled demolition. So the result is an implosion. This is a controlled demolition. So the result is an implosion. This is a controlled demolition. We have straight down symmetrical collapse into its own footprint. This is a controlled demolition. This is what a high rise looks like when it's being demolished with explosives. This is a controlled demolition. We have straight down symmetrical collapse into its own footprint. This is a controlled demolition. 